What up, everybody? Welcome to this Stuffed Crust Podcast. I'm your host with the most on the ones and twos, coming at you live from the shed. They call me Shed Dancing. They call me the podcast editor, a.k.a. Here Comes the Predator, Ryan Wilson. And with me tonight, Greg the Mustache Hoey. Greg, what's going on, baby? Oh, you know... They call me Brendan Fraser, the whale. Word, word. Also, Do they? coming to you no, they from don't. sunny Connecticut, the motherfucking Donatello of the podcast, Seamus Rogers. Seamus, how you be? What up? It was definitely sunny today and hot as fuck. And uh, what, so what do you mean by the Donatello? You mean like I'm the smartest one? I mean, you're the motherfucking technician. You're tech savvy, so you're the Donatello of the podcast. Uh, and I love purple, right? I don't know, do you? I'm the With Michelangelo. Wizard's ropes. <clears throat> That's true, though. If this was the case, though, Ryan would definitely be the Raphael. I already told him that. Well, if you saw, if I hadn't turned my, my uh, camera off earlier and you saw how angry it was, I knew. <laughs> you, were, you were the shredder <laughs> with a razor or toka. Or your boy. <laughs> Greg is Bebop and Rocksteady rolled into one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm more of a Casey Jones kind of guy. Because I'm driving this Because you're all about revenge stories. That's right. I like a revenge Casey story. Casey Jones was the dopest action figure. Let's bring it back. Casey was. Jones was awesome. I mean, he's essentially a Jason ripoff. Shut up. So. Don't you ever say that. <laughs> What season did Casey Jones come into the show? Fuck. Wait, wait, what? What season did he come into the show? Trivia that you know um, the answer to, or is this you asking in general? uh, Obviously, I know everything TMNT. Season 2, episode 13. Trick question. He was always there. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm just fucking kidding. (laughs) Um, We played at the Milltown Tavern last weekend, and there was this old (laughs) dude in the front row who looked just like the dude from the Big Lebowski. And anytime I see like old people in the crowd and we're playing rap, it makes me feel a little anxious. Cause I'm like, Oh, I don't know. So we're fucking doing our thing, playing our set. And I'm like, all right, these old people are good. They're kind of into it. And then when I get off, dude, this dude like slaps my hand. Like he's like, you know, fucking pulling it apart. Like, like we're like fucking rat old rappers. And he pulls me close. He's like, yo, that was tight. <laughs> this, this dude was like 75 plus man him and his wife and they fucking loved it it was awesome oh uh, there's this picture of old people saying tight it's funny yeah exactly just because I can never shake it in my head I've been mocked by and then we played the peddler's daughter the week after or the week before and some girl like harassed me to play Britney Spears but she was harassing me like hardcore like she the whole night but we played in New York once at this place, the Naked Turtle, and this old, we were doing rap, and this old man pointed at me and he just gave me the thumbs down. But he pointed at me aggressively and gave me the thumbs down. That's the it, it burned it. It's, it got me to the core. <laughs> yeah, I've, it's like uh, when I was down south doing karaoke, and like a guy flipped me off. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that shit. Now, if I get heckled, I'm all about it. But, like, that one, like, cut deep. So that's the one I go to. That, like, he, that old man, I'm sure he's fucking dead now, probably. The last rap show I played at Slim's Tex-Mex, uh, there was this old Harley couple up front. And it was a rap show I put together. And as soon as I started rapping, they were both like, boo, boo. And after the song, I said, <laughs> someone get this cunt the fuck out of here. It's a goddamn rap show. Get the hell out. They were removed from the premises. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's nice. awesome. Uh, I like a good heckle nowadays. What were you expecting? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The flyer said, rap show. <laughs> I mean, we did just play a VFW, and I was like, I don't know about this show coming up. And uh, we crushed it, and they liked us. Yeah, but your band's like, 
easily liked by everyone. You know, you just play. Yeah, but we do play a something lot for of- everyone, and even songs that people may not like or have liked. You know, it brings out nostalgia in some of the songs. And it's in there. Yeah, sometimes. But if you're like a seventy year old man and you hear like rap and shit, sometimes you're like, "Fuck this." I just I don't know. I know I know the crowd. I can read a crowd. And, and sometimes I hate to be in a bar and the band's playing. Period. Oh, totally. It's loud. And you can't. And you talk to the people you're with. And, yeah. You know, unless I'm there to see the band, or you know, unless they, they're really good, I'm usually just annoyed. Greg, what's going on with you lately? Yeah, so oh, you know, I've had uh, some interesting mornings with uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Little uh, bit of a Karen situation, mind you. New Dunkin' Donuts or regular Dunkin' Donuts? Um, well, multiple Dunkin' Donuts. It's war. So I was like, the other weekend, I got a bagel toasted twice with a little bit of butter, just a tiny bit of butter. Still, still a little bit, you know, a little bit too much butter there. But it was perfectly cooked. I was like, all right, doing this again. So I got my coffees, ordered a bagel again. I pull around. I mean, there's a long line forming. So I pull up, get out of there, open my bagel. It's like barely fucking cooked. There's like a cream cheese amount of fucking butter on the shit. I said a tiny bit of butter. So I'm pretty upset. I get out, take this bagel and shove it right in the trash. (laughs) I say, fuck you, bagel. Fuck, I'm going to this next Dunkin' Donuts. So So why didn't you just like scrape some of the butter off because it wasn't cooked it wasn't really cooked at all see i don't i'm a person that doesn't like unmelted butter so i would hate to have a big glob of fat butter on. same i don't want that either but i also want to fuck i I need my bagel also just take skim it off and just kind of spread in the light layer of it yeah i could have done that maybe you were just upset i was upset (laughs) so i decided to you know trek to the next dunkin donuts and uh, when I took the order, I said, you know, I explained very slowly, you know, what I wanted. Can I have my bagel pretty much burnt, thrown through at least twice with a tiny bit of butter? And then she goes, bagel, toasted, butter. <laughs> <laughs> so she, heard, she heard the important point. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know about this. <laughs> and uh, so I pull up. Get my bagel, pull out, like, you know, again, lines forming, open my bagel, and it's like it's frozen. It's like it's a frozen fucking bagel. And you asked for it toasted twice? Oh, uh, yeah. And there's like a fucking mound of cream. Like, it's like butter for days, for weeks, even. Some so I, like I like that. I pull in, I slam my car door. I shouldn't have done that. This is a new car, but I was enraged. I open the door. And I fucking put the bagel down and I say, hey, this is supposed to be black. And she goes, yeah, well, I can make you a new one. And I was like, I don't want you to make me a new one. I want you to fucking listen. And I fucking <laughs> walked out and uh, I saw this guy behind me go for the bagel. So he must have got the free bagel. But like just the way she said it to me, she's like, I can make you a new one. Like it was my fucking fault. Like Jesus in hockey yelled at me, said I was a fucking Karen, like. I was debating on going and getting another bagel at the other place. Another Dunkin' Donuts is saying, like, don't toast it. Just fucking cut the bagel and give me the fucking butter on the side. Should have made her make it again because you just fed into the reasons why she doesn't care. Because people are going to just take it and leave or, or just leave it and pay. I so- d- I didn't want to sit there and wait. I was so enraged. I, almost, I should have threw the bagel against the wall. Or something. And it would have stuck against the wall because there was so and much bet, fucking butter on it. I bet, you know, there's a good uh, portion of people that probably wouldn't make her remake it and they get away with it. You just let them get away with it. It's, it's like that. Yeah. One, I said, not today. I seed and fallen down. What? Like, yeah. I want it. <laughs> good movie. Right. Yeah. Right, I want it toasted dark with a tiny bit of butter. I knew I was for right when she said bagel, toasted, butter. I was going to be like, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, so, this isn't a bullet point really scenario. Six, 16 year old kid, not a career. <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to talk shit, but yeah. 
yeah, fuck this person. And let me just say, guess what I did today? This morning, I went to my regular Dunkin' Donuts and said, can I get a bagel? Uh, not toasted, but cut with butter on the side. I got three butter packets, bagel not toasted. I brought it to work, threw it in our awesome toaster, and I had a fucking beautiful bagel. Problem solved. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah, if you're going to do that, you may as well just fucking buy a bagel, a pack of bagels rather than pay. Well, check this out. For each one. I got Instacart, and I ordered bagels, and I ordered butter. There and guess go. what I got instead of bagels? I got a box of Ritz crackers like I'm fucking <laughs> goddamn regarding Henry, okay? You could, you could taste that butter on those crackers. They're good. Yeah. So just, I te- just a thin layer on those crackers is perfect. So I texted the person who got my groceries. I said, hey. Where are my bagels? I got these random rich crackers here. <laughs> and I never heard from her. But I got those bagels refunded. And I was going to go into the grocery store and get bagels this morning instead of getting that bagel. I thought they know that. But I was lazy. All I'm hearing is your hmm. terrible at ordering shit. That's basically what the... I'm, get, I'm getting that he's lazy because he's always ordering shit. I, but he's always dealing with DoorDash issues or... Oh my god! I'll never order from Jersey Mike's again. Go to the grocery store. Jersey Mike's. You'll be cheaper. It'll be healthier. Do yourself yeah. a favor. I do, but now I'm even lazy for that, and I've been doing Instacart. I don't DoorDash. I don't Instacart. I don't any of it. And is it because they don't deliver out here where I live? Mostly. <laughs> I try to do. Speaking it. of their main, your main backwards is your. Hear about that woman that like punched a bear? Yeah, fuck bear. She punched a bear. Yeah, she. Uh, it was Porter, Maine. Uh, she, I guess she was out in her backyard with her dog, and her dog ran off. Um, and it comes running back with a black bear chasing chasing the dog, and she she um she made she stood and made herself appear large which you know they, they recommend that in black bear encounters but instead of like slowly retreating she just like confronted the bear which is not recommended yeah and uh she didn't punch the bear the bear bit her she got like some stitches but you know dogs and are then bad. they euthanized the bear you eat that crust podcast yeah probably right here at the You Can Eat That Crust podcast, we don't recommend punching bears. They, they, euth- they Unless your dog's life is in They danger. euthanized the bear. Yeah, of course. So your dog knows, they, they did kill the bear after. That's not yeah. a happy ending. That's unbearable. You can't have a, having a taste well, for Well, that's dog. when you take it into your home and raise it as one of your own. That's what I would have done. It's true. Yeah, but, but somebody, remember that lady who had a chimp she well, did that with and everything was fine until one day it ate her friend's face off like on face off well i don't recommend chimp <laughs> but a bear is fine ate her face off i thought ate her friend's face off uh, i'm pretty sure it was her but that was her friend she tried to get way, a it ate someone's face eye- off. <laughs> ruined her eyeballs she got a dead person's face put on her face and it sloughed <laughs> off yeah but how else would we have gotten Terrifier? Or Terrifier too? Get it? Because that girl yeah. at the beginning. She's <laughs> great. Yeah. Look at. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of hard to look at, what are we talking about tonight, guys? We're talking about the Loch Ness Monster. Loch right. Henry. Oh, right. Episode two. Yeah. Tonight we will be discussing, it's Lock Henry, right? Episode 2, Black Mirror, Season 6, 2023, June. Yes, Greg. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. What did so, it be? Nobody wants to start it off about it? What's the, I, got a, I right. got a brief synopsis. A young couple travel to a sleepy Scottish town to start work on a genteel nature documentary but find themselves drawn to a juicy local story involving shocking events of the past. <gasps> yeah, weren't they... I thought they were going setting out to do it on that like murderer the whole time. No, first they were going to make some fucking documentary about an egg farmer or some shit. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, she, 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 I thought they were related. I thought he was murdered by him or something. Or... No, yeah, she she talked him into doing that uh, story. I, I thought this one was kind of predictable, in, in my in my opinion. I mean, I liked it. It, it was cool. The uh, cool twist at the end. I mean, it was a little boring, but you know, the end kind of made it worth it. Worth remember, you know, she, when she, when she's chasing her, it's like fuck, fuck, god, god, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I definitely liked it. It was, it was definitely good. It was definitely one of the slower ones of the season so far, in my opinion. Yeah, I started, it was really slow, and like I actually had to watch it a couple times to get through it. I, was, I fell asleep. Yep, the true, the old true crime one. I like how Doctor Who and Black Mirror always find the ugliest people to dig up. He looked just like Marcus from last podcast. I thought. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was overall it was an alright episode, but like I said. It was a little slow. Yeah, like I said, it was definitely slow. It was it was definitely good. Uh, like I said, I've liked the whole season so far. Um, but um, I know I I kind of saw that coming. I thought the whole process of them like putting the fucking film together was cool. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I saw the mom cut, ca- as soon What's as that? I saw mom come out in the mask, woo! I got hot and bothered. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 on the video. On or? the video, yeah. Is that creepy? Yeah. That's sick. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some toy box shit right there. Yeah, yeah that's pretty sick. Shit, how can you do that? Like, and so well, they didn't, Seamus. It's all made <laughs> up. Well, people actually do that. It has happened. The toy box yeah. killer. Yeah, people do. No, do it's not shit, based dude. on a true story. Roy, even Roy. I read it. Well, Roy and... Um, Roy and Rosemary West too did that type of shit too. Had those parties and shit, and they would fucking. Oh, they're fucked up. Everybody's fucked up. Yeah, and that dude looks like Roy West. Almost looks like um, the guy, like the plane, the plane. <laughs> like just full size. Taller. Yeah, just a little taller. <laughs> the plane, the plane. Best character in the in this episode, the bartender. Oh, totally. He's that guy that gets you into way more trouble than you need to. He's the cu- he was like the cousin or something like that, right? I'll fuck. Oh, that's right. He's the one that brought them somewhere. He brought them to the yeah. He's the one who taught he- the torture room. He brought them to the torture room. Yeah, and he talked her into doing it. Like he kind of talked, like pushed it a little bit for her. And then she said, "We should do that." Yeah, S- suppose you mom. <laughs> Suppose your mom should wear that mask. What do you guys give it? Crust out of crust. Crust out of crust. Give it six crust. I give it five. I give it 5.5 5 crusts. I, I do like how when they released the, uh, the documentary eventually, it was brought to you by Streamberry. Oh, yeah, course, yeah. All right. Streamberry's all over that bitch. <laughs> but Dream Bear is exploiting and ruining lives. And I'm saying five out of five, but like I think overall it was it was a really good episode. It just was really slow and like I don't know, so far in the season for me, still Jonah's Awful has been the most like black mirror episode to me. So five point five, not five out of five, correct? Yeah, yeah, five point five out of eight. That's like you ate that piece of for crust me. and threw half of it back. Oh my god! And then I kicked out of the uh-huh. podcast. He didn't eat the crust. God damn it! Um, so I usually don't listen to like influ- influencers or like podcasters, but like there's this guy I've been talking to. Like he's just like been influencing a lot of fashion, and I gotta say, um, Seamus Rogers of the Unite That Crust podcast, glass glasses aficionado. Like, come on, I'm rocking. <laughs> The Lacoste glasses now, and this this you're wearing the ones I recommend. Oh my god, dude! I got I got two pair, and I put them on. I was like, I'm a Lacoste guy now. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sweet. I've lost two pairs of mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, had another Ryan had another calamity uh, calamitous day on the paddleboard uh, this time. <laughs> um, we all went out. It was six of us. Actually, Greg was there. He wasn't there when it happened, but. We went out on Lake Wakiwan, had a good time. Uh, he left. We went to get lunch and have some drinks at the bar. You know, we paddled right to down the canal 
and we just tied our boards up and went right to the bar from there. <clears throat> so when we come back, you know, we get back on our boards, we go out, you know, fishing a little more, and and the the other guys are jumping and swimming, and they're like jump in, jump in, they keep fucking hazing me. I'm like, look, I don't want to get in. I'm fine where I'm at. It's not even that hot, you know, and uh, they just kept peer pressure me. Finally, I jumped in. And I capsized everything on my board. <laughs> so, you know, my cooler's floating, which is luckily my tap, my tackle bag, you know. Um, and I, I even see, I see uh, my brother's keys floating in the water because I had his keys and I put them in my, 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 uh, my waterproof bag. And I'm like, oh shit, I better get those back. And, and then later on, I find out that my phone was oh, gone, geez. my <laughs> driver's license, my new, my brand new sunglasses, and a bunch of cash I just grabbed and out of my wallet and thrown in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the only, th- and I normally have my phone in a you know a watertight bag, and it's usually leashed right to my shorts. But you know, I figured, all right, well, I'm going in intentionally. Let me just unclip everything and you know throw it in my tackle bag and. Jumped in, you know, I should have zipped the goddamn thing up, clearly. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I got a new phone yesterday, iPhone 14. And then I got to find out that I still owed $500 on my other phone. Nice. Sick. Sick. So I ordered a new license. Good news, Seamus. You still owe us $500 for the phone. <laughs> All right. So I'm buying a, a phone and a half. Now. <laughs> Five and a half. <laughs> yeah, Sean texted me. He's like, "Yeah, Seamus fucking uh, yard sailed. <laughs> he lost oh, his phone and his ID." Like, so oh. All I do is, if I just zipped up my tackle bag, you know, everything would have been salvageable. That <laughs> sucks. Yeah, Ugh. it was a good morning though. It was a fun morning. Yeah, yeah. The water was nice. You know, I'm not. I'm also not used to jumping in down. You know, getting the water down here, the lakes aren't as nice. You know, they're cleaner, it's more clear up there. It's all weeds down here. But it wasn't worth that dip. <laughs> and I was commenting how cool your phone case thing was, too. Mm-hmm. I should have left it clipped in my, in my shorts in my pocket. But, oh, lessons learned. I always yeah. start zip up my bags from now on. You never know what's going to happen. All this paddle boarding just sounds like a lot of work. A lot of accessories going on. Oh, I'm sure I'd like it, but I mean, it's awesome. it just sounds like, like the point of entry is like expensive. Rod, rod holders, f- fishing rods, tackle box, cooler. Well, anytime you want to come, Ryan, I got two I know, but boards. I don't have the clear case for my phone. I don't have floating keys. Like, I'd be fucked. I have all that shit. You have extras. Extra yeah, I, have keys. Back, I have backup phone bags. Well, you can put your phone, you can put your keys in in my fucking car, and and I'll lock it. I don't. Right, and then I'll lose my key key. bag. Yeah, I'll lose my keys, and I'll be fucked. I don't. Cool. I don't like any of that. No. Speaking of fucked, um, you know, people that you know have had worse days than than uh than that, I guess. I mean, oh my god, of course. uh, I just this is a. Little segment called Today my girlfriend asked why we weren't married yet. I guess I don't find her alcoholism, lack of income, constant insults, references to cheating, and gentle and general entitlement behavior very wifey material. Hmm. This is from staying single. Um Today, after weeks of my yelling, my boyfriend finally listened and got a hubby. A hobby, sorry. Instead of getting into something sensible like martial arts, he chose tabletop gaming. (laughs) Now I have to listen to hours of boring stories about pretend fancy worlds and admit to everyone that my boyfriend is a nerd. (laughs) From UG, make it stop. Uh, Today, someone tried to guess my age. They guessed 45... Then 39, I'm 35, and I just spent $20,000 on plastic surgery to make myself look more youthful. Oh, shit. Yo, I just had... I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm I, not uh, I went to go buy beer the other day, and the girl was like, can I see your ID? I'm like, sure. She's like, actually, I don't need that. And then she's like talking to the cashier. She's like, I ID everybody, though. She's like, I know, but 
The other day, a guy came in who looked even older than him, and he was only 23. <laughs> like, actually, I'm 65. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, all right. Today, I was setting up a computer before a big work meeting. I noticed the software they were using had a text-to-speech feature. I thought it'd be funny to make it say obscene things and then delete it. When the meeting started, the speakers blared, The VP is gay. Ah, 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 ah. In a robotic voice. <laughs> uh, I was shortly there fired. After. <laughs> uh, this one from Need a Job. Now. Need a Job Now. And just one more. Today my wife tried to join me in the shower to be sexy. Only I was shampooing. So when I turned around and felt someone in the shower with me, I panicked. And we both fell and got stuck in the bottom of the bath. Our kids had to come and help because my wife had broken an arm and we oh, couldn't shit. move. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> embarrassing. Another anonymous there. So embarrassing. They couldn't leave their name. Yeah, I fucking hate talk to text. It's fucking so annoying. It's very uh, convenient, I, but it's so fucking annoying. I get so mad at like. I, I am not using it because I constantly, it takes me longer to use it because it fuck gets everything yeah. wrong. Oh my God, everything. Like, I get so mad, and then like I, it, like, do you want to respond? And I'm like, uh, yes, thank you. You're like, and, and she'll be like, you're welcome. I'm like, go oh, fucking kill you. Like, I fucking hate it when she responds to me, like trying to have a conversation with me. You guys should try. Uh, you throw your fucking phone against the wall and fuck my life. You guys should try fighting with your friends about the Foo Fighters while talk to texting and driving. Oh my god, they're awesome, right? <laughs> Good times. Anything else you guys want to touch on before we go? Uh, do you have 10 minutes to talk about my semi-pro football career? Ne- next time. We'll I'm dedicate sure the whole okay. episode to it. Uh, I, just, you know, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Joey Jaws Chestnut. Did he do it again? You know, he he, he, he I- won it again. 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Dude, how old is that guy? How is he still this- alive? It's the sixteenth title, which you know he's he hasn't lost since two thousand sixteen, I guess. Oh my, he must have heartburn. How come? Right, he, right. How come he doesn't have? How come I have more heartburn than this guy? It's got to be terrible for you to eat. I mean, they he's say thirty nine years terrible. old. He's probably like eighty and hot dog eight. You know, he looks horrible for thirty. I'm tired. Of, I'm, I'm tired I, of I, skinny people appropriating fat people culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most of the like, champions of hot dog eating. Yeah, those hot dogs right? are that. That's our thing. Stop it. Uh, so I guess they, I they, I did the math here, and it was like sixty-two hot dogs and buns in ten minutes. That's like a- averaging one every ten seconds or less. Well, he's kissing his wife after eating. She's pretty cute though, but he's like, ugh, she's doing yeah, it he, too. Like, ugh. He did thirteen more hot dogs than the runner-up. Congrats to you, Joey Jaws Chestnut. Jesus Christ, you're disgusting. But, yeah. Is it a sport? It's sport. Sport of the Kings, people say. <laughs> only, the, the only It's definitely more definitely. relevant than your semi-pro football career. Oh, ouch. <sighs> also, Ryan, Casey Jones did appear in the second season. The yeah, I know. Series. Season 2, episode 13. Yeah. I don't know. I made that up, but I'm glad I was... Close. Fuck yeah. yeah. You soggy Ojimbo. What's up? I don't know what episode was. Season two. Toka. Razor. Daka. Now you just name, name it. Ninja Turtles. Mutagen Man. Characters. <laughs> the Sewer King. What's up? Extra stock. Bring Nut and Screw Loose. Deep Dive right there. The Rat King. Sewer King. It's the Rat King. It's the Rat King. Sewer King. Did I just make that up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're trying to dominate. generic Rat King. Trying to assert dominance <laughs> over me. It's Rat King's brother, Stephen's five, episode twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Rat oh, King, oh, yeah, that's right. When Rat King was swallowed up by that Dimension X portal, they had to bring him back in the form of his brother. It's kind of like Super Trooper, or what's not, what are the name of those guys that bring when Avalanche went down? And they, Oh yeah, fuck you, man. Bring him back. Like, let's just pretend it never even happened. <laughs> or like, and like, yeah, he's fucking, his, he's fucking his wife too. Yeah, landslide. Oh, landslide. landslide two. You're so much better than landslide one. Right. <laughs> what is uh, broken lizard? That's yeah, yeah. Bro- I love it, dude. 
beer fest when he's like when she finds him and she's she's like oh my god he's dead and he's, like, and he's, and he's just eating ham all night and he's like ham <laughs> she's like giving him mouth to mouth and like gags on a piece of the ham he spits up oh disgusting yeah. all right everyone we want to thank you for listening to stuffed crust episode three uh coming at you with more flavor next week get ready for revenge stories and you're all beautiful beautiful people Thanks all. And remember, in stuff we crust. Your crust we stuff. Hey. Neither one of those are going to catch on. Stuff. Your crust. Stuff. Stuff. Your crust. Stuff. Stuff, stuff it real good. Stuff it. Ooh, extra crunchy. And less some cheese. Less cheese. Well done, please. Uh. Toast that light. twice in a light. Little light coating of butter. Light, oh please! Um, toast that twice. Very, very light coating of butter. Oh, I can't wait to have it tomorrow and make it myself. My <laughs> butter is on the my butter is on my office window, just chilling, I've, getting I've, perfect room temperature. I've heard that um, eating a bagel a day is the equivalent of two hot dogs. Sick. I'm coming for you, Joey <laughs> Chestnuts. I'm coming for you! Thank you, everybody. Good night. See ya! Take care. <laughs>